Hey guys, this is Paula Ram, and I'm coming on on another section in our series of Don't Do This, Do This Instead series for social media. And I just want you to imagine for a minute that you, it is 10, 10 o'clock p.m., you're sitting on your comfy sofa watching your favorite TV show at night, you're dead tired, you're comfortable, and all of a sudden you hear this commotion, you hear someone breaking in your door, stomping in, coming in, all of a sudden this person comes in, this stranger comes in, picks you up off the couch, blindfolds you, carries you off to their car, throws you in the trunk, and drives you off to their house or a hotel room or something, and takes you out, plops you there. But they just kidnapped you. They just kidnapped you from your comfy place without asking, and you find yourself at a home party or some type of demonstration of somebody's product. Would you be happy about that? And they're, you're saying, what, what's going on? I was just watching TV and all of a sudden you guys pick me up and bring me here to this, this party thing. And they'd be, oh, you're gonna love it. You, oh, we have these awesome products. They just, oh, it just, you'll love it. And you're just, you know, just wait till you see, you're gonna love it. I just, I knew you would like it. I knew you would like it here. So I just, I did, I just thought, why even bother asking? I'll just save her the trouble and go just pick her up myself and uh, bring her here so she doesn't have to do any work. Uh, would you be happy about that? I don't think so. I think you'd be pretty miffed. So if you wouldn't go kidnap uh, a friend or someone you don't even know, barely know, from their home and take them to your home for a home party to show them your product, then in the social media world, do not add people to your Facebook group involuntarily. That's kidnapping. Do not kidnap people and put them in your Facebook group. Yes, they can remove themselves, but you know, some people don't even know how to do that. And again, why should they have to go through the trouble of doing that when they didn't even ask to be there? So guys, there's a right way and a wrong way to do that. Yes, you're excited about your product. Yes, you want to share it, but just invite them just like in real life. You would invite them to your home party. You would not go drive there, pick them up and kidnap them and take them there against their will. So do not do that in the virtual world either. Just invite them, call them, send them an invitation through snail mail or PM them through Facebook. But again, if you're gonna PM them, don't copy and paste the same message to a couple hundred of your friends. That's not very personal, you know, just personalize it you know say how you doing how is you know little Joey doing with his baseball practice and stuff or you know just show an interest in them but not fake and not just for the purpose of getting them to buy your product people can see through that too but you know people don't you know just to get a, a copy and pasted message that you know has been spammed out to a couple hundred people is not very um, nice either so hey just show your excitement say hey I got this party going on I would love to add you to this group or this party or invite you I would love you to join us if you're interested it's a great product if you want to come and learn more about it we'd love to have you join us and you know then give them the link that they can click on themselves to join your group for your event party so that's just a much nicer way to do it so Again, no group kidnapping of your friends or people who are kind of your friends or not even your friends. Um, just invite them, just like you would in real life. So hope this helps you guys. All right, bye.